Hello wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'm going to show you 13 Halloween build hacks and decorations to use this spooky season. You'll see the materials needed for each decoration in a chest before we begin the build. Let's get going. This first one is perfect for a witch's house with its magical swirling cauldron. These three spooky ghosts look great floating in a haunted graveyard or mansion. For these, you'll need various banners. Here's how to make them. For the first ghost face, start with a creeper face. Followed by a middle stripe. And a diamond. Now a downwards arrow. a white border and a white X. For the next face, start with a creeper face again, followed by a white border and two white ombres. Next, create a simple banner with the decoration at the bottom and one more very similar this time using an ombre to soften it once you've got your banners it's time to get building you'll need some placeholder blocks in order to get your ghosts floating at the right height This zombie head in the jar would look perfect at a mad scientist's laboratory. In order to build this, you are going to need to use um, some pistons and levers, as well as some placement blocks. Start by placing a slab in the floor and an armor sand on top of it with your zombie head. Now use pistons and placeholder blocks to push some glass and plank into the um, head.
and decorate around the jaw. These realistic pumpkins really spruce up a pumpkin patch. This scarecrow is a great addition to a pumpkin patch or creepy corn maze. To create this scarecrow, you'll need some banners. Here's how to create them. Start with a brown um, decoration at the bottom, followed by a brown circle, a green half slash. And a brown square, a fancy green border, and a green gradient. Now you can use this muddy cloth to create the scarecrow. Next up, this creepy petrified tree looks perfect in any spooky build. Now it's important to remember when building this tree that each tree is going to be unique and that is what makes it look interesting when you have many trees. So start with a 5 high trunk out of the pointed dripstone and then use the dripstone blocks to create a shape of tree that you're happy with. Once you're happy with the shape of your tree, add in some cobwebs. Use these four tombstone designs to create a spooky graveyard. Each one is unique and adds lots of character to a haunted build. For this build, if you're creating it in survival, you can replace the netherite armor with leather armor dyed black, and you can replace the lodestones with smooth stone blocks. Now that the main structure of the graves are complete, you can add some details with signs, lanterns, some glow ink and candles.
This jack-o'-lantern light is creepily cute and adds a touch of Halloween whimsy to a build. For this build, you need to create a banner like this one. By using yellow behind the orange stripes, the pumpkin texture stands out. And once again, using yellow behind the black creeper face makes it look like it's glowing. And finish with green on the top. Now you can create this light. This basket of trick-or-treat candy is a super sweet addition to a build. To create it, you'll need some colourful leather hats and some banners like these. By doubling up on the stripe pattern, you get a bolder, more crisp edge. You'll also need some placeholder blocks as well as pistons and levers to create this. Start by breaking a hole on the ground and placing your first armor stand and hat. Then use some placeholder blocks to create a stack of rotated hats. You can then break all of the placeholder blocks, let the armor stands fall into place. Then use some more placeholder blocks and a piston to push a composter on top of all of the hats. Surround with banners. And there you have it. This moving zombie in coffin is an extra creepy addition to a graveyard. So I've got my zombie here, I trapped him in some glass and I put a leather hat on him so he doesn't despawn. Now we can use some rails to move him into place. Dig a hole and, and create a minecart rail like this. And set up some trapdoors around the shape of the coffin. Once that's ready, place down a minecart and trap your zombie. You might need to give him a bit of a shove. Break the rails, fill him with dirt. and decorate the rest of the coffin and grave. This decoration is another excellent addition to a mad scientist laboratory or a dungeon. In this build, redstone dust looks just like splotches of blood. Make sure you click the redstone dust so it turns into a redstone dot. These super simple floating skull lanterns are excellent for Halloween. You'll just need some placeholder blocks to place your skeleton skulls in the right height.
This bubbling witch's brew looks a little bit ominous. And all the materials used in this build are easy to get in survival. Finish it off with just three chains. And look at that. So there we have it. 13 fantastic Halloween builds. You can mix and match as many as you like to create something spooktacular. Comment down below your favourite decoration and check out my Patreon to build alongside me and get some exclusive Halloween content. Please subscribe and I'll see you in another tutorial.